This video is sponsored by PageProof. One of the things that we might want or don't want is we don't want really, really short final lines when we're using justified text. That's too short. Or maybe that one's not too bad. But we can get even shorter, right? We get these little runs at the end. I started calling them runs because I, A, couldn't remember which is orphan, which is widow. And then I found out it's a whole conversation we're having online, whether or not which is which. I'm just going to call them short little lines at the end and stay neutral. I'll be Switzerland. So you can, you can tell that that's way too short. I wouldn't want just that word on the end. So we can create a greps expression that we build into our, um, into our uh, character or paragraph styles that will not have that. So let's come in here, paragraph style. Do I already have one? I have that one assigned. Let's go ahead and build in an expression. And I believe I have it changing color. So I have this character style called no break where I've applied a no break. So I've come in here to the character formatting. I've told it no break. So I don't want it to break. Wherever this expression is found, do not break it. And also, I'm changing it a color just so we can see uh, what it's being applied to. That's just for demo purposes. So that's my character style. And I want to assign the character style to the stuff at the end that I don't want to break. And I've decided that 12 characters, it needs to be at least 12 characters. Now, keep in mind, those 12 characters include any spaces between the words and any punctuation. So if you've got a period and a quote mark at the end and it's three little words, yes, I do, period, quote, that's not going to necessarily even get all three of those words, you know, just because you've got all that extra stuff. There are other ways to do it. You could do it by word if you wanted to, but I find that's weird because what if one word is two letters and one is 18 letters or something? So you have to find what works for you. And the number of characters, and that's going to be different depending on your, you know, type that you have set up. 12 might actually look way too short on such a wide paragraph with this. That's going to be, just like I say, up to you. So let's go ahead and the paragraph style and the body text that's applied, come over to grep style, and we'll do new grep style, and we'll apply that no break to any character, which is any character, dot, very good. So any character. And then I'm going to put 10. So I want it to apply to the last 10 characters at the end of a paragraph. So character, 10 times exactly, or whatever. Let's do 12. 12, and at the end of a paragraph. Dollar sign, very good. You win a book, just so you know. <laughs> you pin it in, woo -hoo. All right. So, that's going to be, that's going to assign to that. So if I click down here, it should apply that. And now I can see that those last 10 or 12 characters that we created always have that no break applied to it. So what that means is when I go and change this, actually, let's get it so it's showing me what I'm doing here. So you will never see that red text split across those two lines. If it doesn't fit here, it moves up. Or if it moves up, it comes down and keeps everything with it. So those will always stay together. So you can build that into your style. That's just one thing that's in the style that it automatically applies the no break. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.